David Coleman there. Well, the first track gold medal to be decided will be in the men's 100 metres. Four years ago, it was Ben Johnson winning the title, subsequently discredited at the Olympics, of course. He's back in Canada's team this time, but only for the relay. The winner in 1983 was the great Carl Lewis, and eight years on, he's still very much in contention. If it's speed you want in Tokyo, there's more than one way of getting around quickly. Carl Lewis, the complete all-round sprinter, prolific medal winner, five gold medals in two world championships. And it all began with a 100-meter victory in Helsinki eight years ago. And they get away for the third time of asking. Alan Wells had a good start, but Carl Lewis is going well, and Emmett King's ahead of him. Emmett King is streaking ahead, Carl Lewis has got a lower run. Lewis comes! This time, Lewis is not the favourite, but there's tough opposition in Christie, Mitchell, and of course, Leroy Burrell. Well, I think the main thing is that Leroy, uh, right now, has established himself as the best sprinter in the world. There's no question in 100 metres. Um, I, I don't feel that I've run up to my capability this year, and that's what gives me a lot of inspiration for this meet. Uh, but I think Leroy, of course, is a very strong starter, and Dennis is, is focused on getting out of the blocks, but Leroy distributes his race a lot better, and that's what makes him tough to beat at the end. Um, when you look at everyone else, of course, then it goes down to Linford, who's, who's been very consistent, and he's definitely probably going to be a medal contender without question, and I don't see how he couldn't get a medal, you know, based on the way things are going. And then after that, it's kind of a, a mixture. But for me, the thing I have to do is just run technically a good race, like I've done the last couple of weeks here training, and I think that I run very, very fast. Since arriving in Tokyo, Lewis has been very much a part of the Japanese scene. He's a popular figure wherever he goes. He's even found time to hold a coaching clinic for aspiring Japanese sprinters. He's been at the top for a decade, but will he be around for another four years? The only way I could be around that long is if these, if everyone keeps paying, escalating this crazy money the same way. I might stay around that, that case because I, I thought there was no way I'd be around, but they keep paying me too much. 